Oxfam of the world's 85 richest people is equal to the three and a half billion poorest people. It's fantastic. And this is a great thing because it inspires everybody, gets the motivation to look up to the 1% and say, I want to become one of those people. I'm going to fight hard to get up to the top. This is fantastic news. And of course, I applaud it. What can be wrong with this? Really? Yes, really. So somebody living on I celebrate a capitalism. dollar a day in Africa is, is getting up in the morning and saying, I'm going to be Bill Gates. That's the motivation the everybody needs. The only thing between needs. me and I'm that guy is motivation. I just need to pull up my socks. I am oh, not, wait, don't, I don't have socks. Look, don't tell me that you want to redistribute wealth again. That's never going to happen. All, okay? You know what? You take a simple stat like this, which is neither good nor bad. It's just a fact. It's a celebratory stat. I'm very excited about it. I'm wonderful to see it happen. I tell kids you know every day, if you... A, I'm just gonna, if what's Jesus wrong with this? comes up at a cocktail party. No, no, Amanda, one what's wrong with this statement? One possible response If you to it, work hard, you might be stinking rich We're talking one day. about people in extreme abject poverty. That's how you get three and a half no, billion No, we're not. You were just talking about really category. rich people. No. Okay. 